extraction of tin. The chief ore of tin is cassiterite, composition is SNO2 stannic oxide also called as tin stone. This is the chief ore of tin and also remember that the impurities present in the ore one is obviously SiO2 silica. Apart from this you also have copper sulphide, ferrous sulphide, even wolframite, ferrous tungstate FeWO4. These are the impurities which are associated with cassiterite. So, let us see how we get rid of these impurities, how we reduce SNO2 and get SN, pure SN. Let us find out. Step 1 is called levigation or gravity separation. The ore particles are heavier. So, if you make a fine powder of the ore and run a stream of water, most of the silica, most of the silica will be washed away along with water. Step 2. Here you lose most of the silica, it is washed out along with water. Step 2 is roasting. Roasting as you know, roasting is uh, heating an ore in excess of air. Although it is already in its oxide form, but still we do roasting. The intention is to transform these substances into either sulphates or oxides, so that they can be easily removed. So, roasting especially done for uh, removing moisture, it is done to remove volatile impurities, it is done to transform the impurities. So, what happens during roasting? Cu2S will become CuSO4, FeS will become FeO and partly FeSO4. So, in this way, uh, we are able to transform these substances during roasting. Step 3, step 3 is water washing. Here we get rid of water soluble substances, copper sulphate and ferrous sulphate are removed. CuSO4 and FeSO4 are removed they dissolve in water and are removed. Now, we will be dealing mostly now with uh, FeO, SiO2, a tungstate. Step 4 is electromagnetic separation. Magnetic substance present in this is iron tungstate. So, Fe W O 4 is removed. Now, what is left out with you is SNO 2, ferrous oxide, some copper oxide also may be present and little SiO 2 is still present. So, these are the substances which are present. Tungstate, copper sulphate, ferrous sulphate all these substances are removed to a large extent. So, these are the steps we will continue with this. So, up to here remember step 1 is levigation or gravity separation where you lose particles of lesser specific gravity most of the silica will be lost in this stage. Step 2 roasting, roasting is to remove moisture, roasting is to remove volatile impurities from the ore, roasting is done to transform copper sulphide and ferrous sulphide into their sulphates so that they can be removed in the next step uh, during water washing these are removed because they are water soluble. Then electromagnetic separation is done to remove tungstate. Let us proceed further. What we get after electromagnetic separation is called as black tin. Black tin consists of SNO2, FeO and SiO2. Now, the next step, these are the substances present. Now, this next step, 
Step 5 is reduction. Here, black tin is heated with coke in presence of CaCO3. I hope you understood that CaCO3 during heating will produce calcium oxide. This will act as a flux, obviously, to remove SiO2. So, you get Sn, coke will reduce SnO2 to Sn, then you get calcium silicate. This is due to reaction of uh, calcium oxide with SiO2 impurity. Apart from this, you also get FeSiO3. You get little amount of SnSiO3. These substances are present in slag. This is how tin is obtained. But then this almost contains about 20 percent of tin. So, it is very important to recover tin from the slag. Let us see how tin is recovered from the slag. SnSiO3 is mixed with coke and heated in presence of CaCO3 and you end up with SnCaSiO3, of course, carbon dioxide. The simple funda is calcium oxide being more basic, it will transform stannous silicate into Sn and it itself becomes calcium silicate. That is how tin is recovered from the slag. Well, the reactions which take place are, you know, SnO2 reacts with coke to give Sn plus carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide. This is one reaction. Another reaction you can expect is CaO plus SiO2. This takes place in the formation of the slag. You get CaSiO3. In a similar manner, in a similar manner, FeO reacts with uh, SiO2 to give ferrous silicate. That is how these substances uh, transform themselves and you get tin. So, the final stage has come that is uh, refining of tin. I will show you how tin is refined. Step 6 in the extraction of tin is refining of tin. There are three stages in this. First step is liquation. You know, tin has a low melting point because uh, of its low melting point, it is purified by liquation. And then the second step is polling. Here, the molten tin is stirred with green wooden poles to uh, reduce any oxides present in the metal and then finally, electrolysis. Here, impure, impure tin acts as anode, pure tin acts as cathode and SnSO4, SnSO4 behaves as electrolyte. So, on passing current, Sn dissolves in the electrolyte as Sn plus 2 due to oxidation and then Sn 2 plus will get discharged at cathode and cathode grows in size in this way tin is purified. So, these are the sta three stages involved in the purification of tin. The impurities present are iron, copper, even tungsten is also present. All those are removed in these three stages. That is about extraction of tin from tin stone.